This super quick video is in our engine snack series. Stockfish avoids an obvious recapture that would be played by 99 of 100 players uh, in order to find an optimal development scheme. Um, and hopefully this uh, video will inspire you to find similar ideas in your own game. We joined the game after eight moves of a dodgy Polish defense opening. That's one knight f3 and then b5 from black. White has a lead in development and also has the two bishops. Um, the bishop on b3 is not very active, so um, a natural plan would be to play c3, followed by bishop c2, activating the bishop on the b1h7 diagonal. But Stockfish finds something much more aggressive. So Stockfish plays c4. Uh, what is the idea of this move? Well, it also opens the b1h7 diagonal for the bishop. But white is also intending to meet a move like knight f6 with c5, gaining queenside space and really clamping down on black's position because black no longer has the option of playing c6 to c5. So black plays after c4, black plays d takes c4. Now, this gives black an isolated c pawn, but it does also isolate the white d pawn and gives black an outpost on d5 for the knight. Now, Ethereal and Scorpio played two games in, uh, in this position, and uh, they both played bishop takes c4, um, which is uh, obvious, gave white a slight advantage, but uh, both games uh, ended in a draw. Stockfish's idea was much more impressive. Stockfish played the incredible move, bishop d1. I love this move. White's idea is to recapture on c4 with the knight. This brings the knight to a fantastic outpost. From c4, it can aim for e5 or a5, and it also gains a tempo along the way against the exposed black queen on a5. And this bishop on d1 can be later rerouted to e2 or to f3, uh, joining in the fight against black's weakened queenside light squares. After knight to f6, knight to d2, queen d8, knight takes c4. We already saw that black has uh, some problems on the queen side because queen takes d4 would allow queen b3 when the threat of queen b7 is very, very hard for, uh, for black to meet. So black played bishop b7, but still here, queen b3, castles, queen to b7. Um, was very, very strong. After knight bd7, the bishop came out to f3. This is where it wanted to be. And after knight d5, queen takes c6. Well, it's clear that clearing away the, the black queen from the queen side with knight c4 um, has enabled white to win a pawn, and uh, Stockfish converted it with superb technique um, uh, 80 moves later. So there we are. I hope this, uh, this idea has, uh, has inspired you as well for your own games. Uh, this incredible idea, Bishop d1, just looking to recapture um, a loose, weak pawn, um, not with the first piece that comes along, but with the optimal piece, in this case, the knight, gaining a tempo and uh, establishing the knight on a fantastic square. Okay, thanks for watching.